Oh, yes. <laughs> I was just thinking about this new uh, position in the corporation. See, when you're a manager, you're given a team to work with. Yes. Let's say I employ you as the manager and you have what's known as the annual renewable contract. <laughs> For 12 months of the year, you are able to make approximately $150,000, right? And, and I pay for the travel back and forth to the office, wherever that's located in the world. <laughs> but the employees are the 10 individuals that you work with, yes, that happen to have about the same ovulation because you're all in the office at the same time. Oh! <laughs> now, what's really interesting is you only have to work three months of that 12-month annual renewable contract <laughs> because as you and the employee, you get to interview those that are going to replace you in the office for up to nine months out of the year. Yes. <laughs> So that your $150,000 is actually broken up in, well, let's use a, a 180000 into, uh, well, that, let's see, divided by four, that didn't work very good. How about 160000 Yes! You get $40,000 every three months. You actually get paid once a month. Yes. Now, for a lot of women, they like this idea of having a very flexible annual renewable contract where they themselves are recruiting women that they know have the same professional capabilities as they have. But since I contracted with you, yes, mm -hmm. the actual work of the team, the 10 employees and yourself, yes, is dependent upon you finding the right replacement so that you can spend nine months a year doing whatever you want, six months if you want 80,000 a year, <laughs> or you could just work, uh, you could work nine months and take three months off. Oh, <laughs> see, my thought is that those that are managers, <laughs> if they have something else in life that they like to do and they know they have a job because it's an annual renewable contract, <laughs> every year you meet with human resources and they ask themselves, well, did you do what we asked you to do for the last 12 months? <laughs> Now, the nice part is, yes, if you found the right professional replacement, you should have accomplished everything that was required of you. And it could be that you can have what you ask for or we think about what we want to give you. Now, you might say, well, it was nice that three months that I did work in the office where you came to work. Yes. And I did find the replacements that did the other nine months worth of work. So I got to do for nine months a year what I wanted to do, and I made $40,000. Yeah. And then you say, well, I'd like to have some executive housing in this nation or that nation, approach. And um, we'll just pay for the housing, and then we'll give that as kind of a, a benefit, right? So that every year we review the annual renewable contract of the manager. <laughs> Now, for all of those that you find to do your job when you're not there, they got to be as good as you are or better. <laughs> and uh, all the individuals known as the employees, <clears throat> as I grow the corporation, they are offered annual renewable contracts. <laughs> so they're the ones that get to decide who the managers will be of the employees. <laughs> now, what's really exciting, if you do this right, is... <laughs> You could ask for anything you want once a year. You could ask for a company car. You could ask for travel vouchers. You could ask for uh, an additional amount of money in a tax-deferred plan. You could ask for anything that you thought that you wanted. But your whole part of this is that when you are the manager, you're responsible for everything that's given to your team to do. <laughs> now, every employee, as they're employed, will want to have that annual renewable contract because they're the ones that are responsible, but they get to also ask every year, what do I want to have above and beyond the salary that I'm given? Yes, yes. <laughs> now, as the executive, how do I know you've been effective? Well, I have two offices, one in the morning. Yes. <laughs> These are my businesses. I don't know, too. <laughs> and then there's one in the afternoon where I'm an actual employee of some corporations. <laughs> you who? <laughs> well, when scrubbers is, is kind of a difficult thing to explain. I do it both in the morning and the afternoon because I have a percentage of ownership in some instances, 50%. Yes. Other times it might be closer to 90%. Yeah. And then there's uh, there's that uh, international uh, underwear wardrobe where I'm the international sales representative for uh, Moncio Ortega. Yeah, 
He's a clothing and textile manufacturer in Spain.